All right. I know I haven't been uh, on YouTube for a while, but I'm gonna do a little update and show you guys how my tomatoes and bark have been doing. And uh, actually, I just want to say that um, I made a couple mistakes. I was supposed to grow my tomatoes eight or nine inches, or I said at least seven inches, I think, so that they would pop out the the top of the the bucket, so they get light. And my mistake was. Well, first of all, they wouldn't grow too large in, indoors in a tiny little little pot. So, um, yeah, I only had them. I only had them grow about four to five inches, and I put them in the bucket, and they've been growing slowly because of that, because they're not getting enough light, and also they haven't really been fertilizing them very much. But that's okay. I have, you know, this is Florida. I have a long time. I have a whole year pretty much to grow tomatoes. Otherwise, I would have probably taken them out and grown them out here, and then put them in the bucket. All right, this one here, actually, I, I had this one out here. It had gotten kind of leggy, but this one actually grew about nine inches, and then I put it in the, in the bark afterwards. And uh, this here is a cherry tomato that was actually a lot shorter than this, and it's been here for a couple weeks. But like I said, it's not getting much light in this spot, plus it only gets about a couple hours of, of light in here. Because I was kind of babying it, but I'm soon about to move it out to where it's a lot sunnier. Same for this one here. It's just short because I haven't been feeding it too much, and like I said, not enough light. I got my papaya trees here. I gotta move these out soon. I got my um, moringa tree. It's doing wonderfully. It's kind of beautiful, actually. Um, got a mango steen over there. I'll try to get a better shot of this. Mango steen, another mango steen. I got a couple other ones I want to plant. Hopefully, these work out and I get mango steens 10 years from now. And I got my little corn bucket here, 10 gallon bucket. I was actually inspired by someone on uh, Facebook growing uh, in containers. He had a um, he had a uh, big uh, I don't know it had a big tote, self watering container with uh, a lot of corn, and uh, I'd never thought of growing corn you know this thick thickly, but uh, I think it'll protect uh, me from uh, the high winds we get here in Florida, and because it's always knocking my corn over when I try to grow it, so it's kind of like a support kind of a thing. Plus, I'll get more pollination and all that kind of stuff. Here's my uh, Peruvian corn, which hasn't been doing well because I haven't been watering it. And I realized that corn sucks up a ton of water. That over there, those, this is a different corn. Those are pretty much dead. They, uh, they got snapped pretty badly, even though they still survived. But I also hadn't watered them. So they did terribly. And also they weren't getting much light, but it's mostly because I believe they snapped. Here's my other tomato. This one is actually doing a lot better here. I've recently moved this here. It's getting more light. As you can see, it's bigger than the others. And uh, so is this one here, even though I, I chopped up most of the leaves because the stem, uh, as, as the stem grew. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the lower leaves are, are lighter and green because I didn't have... I wanted to wait till the bark got to the top before I added the fertilizer granules. Even though I was fertilizing it with a liquid fertilizer. But that wasn't working out too well. So, so uh, yeah. That's why it's still kind of small. But it has grown to the top. As you can see, these have actually pretty much reached the top as opposed to the other ones in the back. And this one here... It's also started out small actually, but I had uh, I grew it in dirt. It actually grows better in dirt at first. It, the thing is, this dirt here, um, it had already had a ton of fertilizer, and I had it in this sunny spot here. This was the first one that was here alone, so it's, it's grown beautifully, you know, and faster than all the other ones. And although it does grow faster in the dirt, I think um, for me in Florida, the bark. Well, I mean, if you do it right, it'll it'll grow almost almost as fast. 
you have, like for example you, you would have to grow your tomato outside and have it to be like at least this tall over here before you even put it in the bark otherwise it's just gonna be in the bottom and it's not gonna get sunlight it's gonna grow slow uh, here's another one here these these are also growing a bit better but it's a bit shadier and this is the most recent one I put out here and as you can see I don't want you all to be discouraged by my mistakes here but uh see this is a uh, this one's growing in bark look, look how big it is I mean it's not amazing but it actually had another thick branch that I accidentally cut off a couple weeks ago but it is growing it can grow this big in the bark so don't worry I got uh you know if you're trying it out I got another little pink tomato here I collected probably half a dozen the other day so you do get tomatoes here there's some more here it's kinda harder to see in the dark but um I'll try to get a better shot here it is it's much better that's a lot better see there's a couple of young ones here cause I, like I said I collected a lot of them and uh, yeah, they, it grows well in containers. You just have to make sure that you grow it. You know, you grow it in soil, in soil until it reaches like nine inches, ten inches. That way, it gets sunlight right away. And you can, and like I said, I waited. I want to wait till um, the bark is all the way to the top before I fertilize it uh, with the granules. And I got my Okinawa spinach here, which I'm actually I would like to sell cuttings. Uh, in the future, I have a lot of it, and uh, my pineapple back there is still growing. It's been I don't know, like a year. I kind of want to get rid of it, but I'm hoping for it to uh, to give me a pineapple sometime soon. And I got my strawberry tree. I mean, strawberry bush. It's got a tiny strawberry right here. It's actually grown quite large. It was very small when I bought it like three months ago pretty big my Peter pepper I don't know what's wrong with this one here all my other peppers are okay on the other side of the house but this one I mean it's got aphids but I don't think it's just the aphids I haven't really been taking care of this one I guess it's the aphid crap or something I don't think it's the aphids so I mean I know they make it worse but like if you can see my pepper is not growing very healthy but I don't really know what it is. I also find out that the pH level of my soil is way high. It's like 8.5. So that could be something. I actually was going to try a test and add some uh, vinegar water so it'll make the acidity, you know, the soil become more acidic. But uh, I've been kind of lazy about it, I guess. Here's some other papaya trees. Uh, I think they're, um, I forgot what they're called. But these are solo variety papayas that I plan on planting in a month or two. And here is my prized little jujube. It's kind of getting the soil is kind of getting uh, disturbed by all these heavy rains in Florida. But this is my jujube, and it's growing great. It's growing slow, but uh, it's growing. I couldn't keep it indoors anymore because um, space problems, and I can't really, you know, I can't really have a big pot like this. Like the growth was stunted in a little pot but it's finally taken off now that I put it in a bigger pot yeah some of these plants here yeah the corn it's not doing too good because I don't freaking water yeah as you can see it's really dry if you can see it yeah, part of the reason also is, first of all, I didn't realize he sucked up so much water and I've been working a lot. So, yeah, but this one, every night, I'm watering this. And I don't water them during the day because um, there's several wasps on it at all times during the day. And, um, yeah, I don't want to get stung by them. So, at night, I will definitely water them. And I have been watering them. Even though the soil looks pretty dry right now, but... I mean, I soak them pretty good at night, so every single night. We'll see. I actually might have to make a self-watering container because 
that probably does you know evens things out so the plants don't get stressed. I have to work on that. And the lizard just fell from the sky. Holy crap. Oh as you can see out uh, here my tomatoes that I had indoors. These these were the clones that I I mean these buddies that I had with them. These actually finally got bigger in the last few weeks. They wouldn't grow this big under my grow lights. And I was in a rush so I just put them in a in my bucket early. But it's no big deal, like I said, I'm, I can wait. And I'm gonna give you an update on those. Even though it's a lot later than I wanted them to be, but you know, just patience. Here's my cactus. What do you call it? My um, prickly pear cactus. It's doing beautifully. I'm actually proud of this. I've never grown a cactus before. It's growing great. My uh, oh yes, let me show you my wild tamarind. My um, my regular official tamarind with the it bears fruit. That one died. This is my wild tamarind, and it's beautiful. The seeds flew across the street into my house, and I collected them. And, they, and these little the leaves, they close up at night. And it's just beautiful to me. And uh, let's see. This is my sugar apple tree, and I got several other trees. I might want to sell them. Oh, I'm actually trying to get a nurseryman's license. Sell some peppers and stuff like that. Uh, this is my uh, passion fruit vines. I actually collected passion fruits. I guess I should have made a video about that, but I didn't. And uh, that's about it. Oh, my star fruit tree. These might need some water too, but yeah, it's not looking too great, but they are alive. I have three of them. One in the big, big pot, one in the smaller, two in the smaller pots. And I have here, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you can't see it. I have a nice um, pomegranate tree that's growing in a small pot. And what's weird is the smaller pot has a much larger pomegranate tree than in the bigger pots. I'm not sure what's up with that. It could be lighting and too much moisture. And here I have uh, some peppers. There's some Japanese peppers, I forget what kind, but they're very beautiful. As you can see. And uh, they're, they're hot, but they're not too hot. You can chew on these if you want to, if you dare. And here I have another pepper. Um, kind of have a hard time seeing. This is a Carolina Reaper pepper tree. I need to repot that one. I've had no Carolina Reaper peppers yet. Here's another Reaper. It's a lot bigger. I've been trying to prune this one. And uh, hopefully I get some extremely hot peppers. Maybe I'll do a pepper challenge. And these big ones here are my Cherimoya trees. Uh, I'm proud of. Hopefully I can plant them in the ground sometime. I'm not exactly sure where in my house. That's about it. More sugar apples. I got a couple mangoes here and a pineapple guava. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna go inside now. So that's my uh, little update there. I'm not dead. I'm gonna be making more videos. Um, I still love gardening. I'm not gonna give up. I wanna plant a lot more things and uh, I hope you join me and I hope you, you like my show, my content. And if you if you do like it, please subscribe because I got really low subscribers, but I do appreciate every each and every one of them. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.